Hello. Welcome to 1977, where the clothes were funky, the computers were chunky, and the television presenters were hunky. Um, it was also the year that the human race set off on its biggest adventure into outer space. On August 20th and September 5th, 1977, in Cape Canaveral, Florida, NASA launched the Voyager spacecraft. Voyager 1 and 2 were nuclear-powered robotic probes about the size of small cars, designed to take photos and measurements of the solar system's outer planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. The timing was important because the four gas giants were about to align, something that only happens every 175 years. In 1979, both spacecraft zipped past Jupiter, sending back images we've never seen before, like detailed close-ups of the planet's red spot, and even an exploding volcano on one of Jupiter's moons. For people watching back on Earth, this was amazing. Thousands more pictures are expected as the Voyager flies by Jupiter. The Voyagers went on to explore Saturn's rings and collect data about the planet's largest moon, Titan. Before the two probes went their separate ways, Voyager 2 made the long journey to Uranus, where it discovered 11 new moons and two new rings. And then in 1989, it made it to Neptune. Voyager 1, on the other hand, turned away from the planets and kept going. In 1990, its cameras were turned on for one last photo of Earth as a tiny pale blue dot from 6 billion kilometres away. That's here. That's home. By 2012, Voyager 1 had become the first human-made object to leave our solar system and enter into stellar space. And it kept going, speeding through the galaxy at nearly 62,000 k's an hour. Right now, Voyager 1 and 2 are more than 20 billion kilometres away. And while many of their instruments were turned off in 1998 to save power, they've still been sending valuable information, like interstellar sounds, and data about cosmic rays. In fact, just last week, scientists used data from Voyager's trip to Uranus to work out that some of the moons could be capable of supporting life. But recently, Voyager 1 suffered a malfunction and lost contact with Earth. The probe was only designed to last about five years. So NASA flight engineers thought maybe at last the probe was dead. But then, after a few days of silence, it phoned home with a backup radio that hasn't been used since 1981. So, what's next for this intrepid little probe? Well, NASA says it will probably lose contact around 2036. But while its days talking to humans might be numbered, there is a chance that one day, somewhere out there, Voyager might be found by another intelligent species. And if it is, they'll receive an important message. Hello from the children of planet Earth. On board each of the probes are golden records containing a guide to life on Earth. What we're made of, our science, maths, art, music and photos from around the world. Nobody knows if the records will ever be played or if these little spacecraft will ever be seen again. But no matter what the future holds, there will always be a little piece of us somewhere out there. <laughs>